G'day, it's George Truman from Northwest Local Land Services and welcome to Up the Wednesday. This week you're going to hear from our students, Bill and John. They've been with us for the past week as part of the Growing Regional and Agricultural Science Students Grass Program. G'day, my name is Bill Tidd and I'm in Year 12 at Farrah. Um, I'm here at Local Land Services Northwest New South Wales for the UNE Grass Industry Placement Scholarship. G'day, my name's John Bunter and uh, I'm in Year 12 at Kildandra High School and I've been uh, in the Grass Industry Placement Scholarship uh, here at Local Land Services uh, Northwest. Thursday we were out with Bill Manning and we were looking at some sorghum trials in the plants. He was looking at residual herbicides and their effect on the uh, weed population in the paddocks as well as the plant count um, of the sorghum. So we were testing uh, about 14 or 13 different uh, residual herbicides. We were looking at how well it uh, controls the population of weeds but still allows the sorghum to come through and uh, grow to its, to grow and establish. Um, here are a bit of the results and uh, yeah it was cool, really cool to see how, how it all worked. Uh, another day we went down to, we went up to Moree and we were looking at some locust plagues up there. Uh, we did a bit of drone work, uh, here's a bit of a video of me flying it around. Yeah it was really cool to see, uh, I don't, you don't really get to do that on uh, every day so it was a really good opportunity to um, yeah sort of try out new things and uh, get some experience uh, flying some drones so, yeah it was really cool we were just trying to up there we were just trying to see whether we can uh, uh, detect locust plagues before they start flying around and causing some real damage so yeah that was a really good day Another day we were up at Niangla with Cole Easton and Mitch Whitten and we were doing compromised ground cover assessments and trying to identify this landholder's land uh, and seeing what he can potentially do with it by using the point step method shown there and recording and looking at different native and invasive pastures. Uh, final day we were out with Kate McCarthy and Naomi Hobson at two different landholders places at Malls Creek and uh, Bogger Brian, we were just looking at some of the weighing technologies that they have, the OptiWay pictured there. Um, there's John and I, and that was really cool to see how it uh, works and how the cattle are interested in it. And then uh, the, after that, we moved on and did some pasture cuts uh, just to see the percentage of dry matter and how the cattle are able to convert that into feed. Uh, so yeah, we were. That's how we we use the quadrats and the electric shears to take some pasture samples, bag it, and then take it to the oven and dry it to get the dry matter percentage uh, and work out how the, yeah the, how they convert that into feed. Um, after that, we went on to another place near Bogabri to see the walkover way system and how it works in and around a water watering system so that the cattle walk over the top of it and they have to get their tag recorded get their weight recorded and yeah just seeing the practicality and the uh, functionality of it and trying to work out whether it's worth investing in for producers. Mm -hmm.